guys, uh, this is my review and a demonstration of my Air, Water, and Ice RODI. This is their Typhoon, um, 75 gallons per day, and they also make 800 gallons per day for the Typhoon. The difference is the sediment filters, their the rejection rate is um, less, which means that the um, your RODI water, you want it more pure, so that's why I went with the 75 versus the 100 gallon per day, just because I wanted um, patience is okay with me if I get better quality water. This is Air Water Nice RODI, and let me first uh, mention that this, the way I have it hooked up is there's two screws um, that I put straight onto, uh, straight into the studs. And what's nice is that the way RODI has it, or the way uh, Air Water Nice has it, is they're perfectly spaced out for your studs, for your house. And the next one too, it's, I mean, they're perfectly centered. So as long, which is, you know, this is extremely durable on here. Um, that's one great thing about that is I didn't have to put anchors on it, I just put it straight onto the post. So let me show you how this is hooked up first and then we will, um, I'll show you some more stuff. Okay, when you order your RODI unit, they're going to give you a couple options. Um, and that is how you hook up your RODI unit. Um, the way I chose is I, um, I put my connection through my uh, washer, through the cold water. It has to be cold water because you don't want to mess up the membrane. Um, mine was a little bit funky here, so I had to get an, extension, an extender and then a splitter uh, just to get mine to reach or screw them on to get my Y on here. Um, as you can see, I have this line for my washer. That's on 24 hours a day. And back here, there's a little, you can't see it, but there's a little valve that turns this water on. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Right there, it's on. And here's my quarter inch hose. I bought extra line from uh, from Home Depot. You can get it from Home Depot, Lowe's, or any other um, hardware supply. And the way I've made it is I made the line. Here, I'll kind of show you. It's back there. Follows up here. Kind of out of the way. And I put these little brads on there to hold on to the wall. That way they're not sticking out. And right here through the sheetrock, this is actually where my water heater's at. And I'm going to show you. Uh, open the door. So this goes through that water heater back here. And I made a little small screw. That way when I, when I open the door, it doesn't affect the, um, the pipe. Well, you have that coming in. And you put in um, a lot. Or, uh, this is shut off valve. Right now it's turned off. Right there it's on. You can see it's bubbling up. Well, it's starting right there. Oh, one thing you should always do when you're starting it off and you haven't used it, there's a little flush valve up here. Um, make sure you read all your instructions, but what this flush valve does is when this water comes out, all that water has been sitting there. If there's any uh, extra deposits, minerals, um, it'll just flush it out first. That way, if, there's been, if it's been caking up, your filters aren't filtering it. It'll just have it go through here, flush it, and then close it. Now that's it's it's still partially open. Uh, that's the re, that's the waste line. But now it's filtering through here versus before when I had this flush valve open, it was just going from going in and going straight out. So it wasn't even making RODI water, but now it is. Um, that's one thing on the instructions was a little bit. Difficult to understand, you know, what's the flush valve, what's it for, what's it do. So it just get the, the build up. If you haven't used it in a, w in a week or so, flush it before you use the RODI. Um, it's got the four membranes. The, um, this is the membrane housing up here. And this is a, where, it, well, anyway. Here and then here's where it's making the water. You'll see a little bit of uh, air in there. Um, after several uses, it'll get less and less air bubbles in here. The water will naturally absorb the air, so so that'll eventually go away, and it's not going to harm anything. And right here, it's um, 
I'll just put a shutoff valve on the exit. That way, if I ever need to take this thing off from the bracket, I can just shut this off. And then this goes into my um, container where it's making water. Let me show you how much water is coming out. It does waste two gallons of water, or does uh, discharge two gallons of water for every one gallon. So that's kind of the the stream of it right there. This is only a, my second time to turn it on. And they give you a nice little um, housing remover. I didn't use it very much. I, I hand tightened it and I barely snug this. You don't want to break your housing. Uh, one nice thing when you're looking for an RODI unit is you want to look for a company that's um, it's well known. I, I wasn't even going to go with either Air Water Nice or Bulk Resupply. They both had the best uh, reviews that I've seen. Uh, with the Air Water Nice, uh, they're just local people. I, I call them. I guess they're, they're located in Kansas City, um, in Oklahoma City. And when I first got this, my membrane housing was, was leaking. Um, this, there's actually no ring here, and the cap wasn't fully get tied, even though I tightened it all the way. So I had a small leak. And that's one great thing about dealing with Air Water Nice. With a quick phone call, uh, they sent me a new one. This is the old one. As you can kind of tell, it, it's a little bit hard to tell on here, but this one goes in deeper and it still didn't seal up. Um, they sent me another one, put it on here, uh, ready to go. No leaks, no problems now. Uh, they, well, that's one great thing about them is they have great customer service. And when I ordered my RODI unit, um, I got a, not only did I get a great deal because they're they're also a great price. When I was looking for auto ODI unit, I wanted either uh, price, uh, quality, and customer service. My three big important things, and also the cost of these cartridges. How much will it cost to replace? You'll often find cheaper ones, but their cartridges are much more expensive. Um, Airwaternice.com they do um, have great, reasonably priced cartridges and uh, replacements. When I ordered this, I did receive it the next day. Um, I was really impressed with their shipping. Um, I'm in Oklahoma and they're in Kansas, so um, I at least expected at least two to four day turnaround, but it actually arrived the next day for me to set it up. Well, now let me show you guys my return, because uh, this is your return line. This is my inlet, and that is my good water. Let me kind of show you what I did. I kind of just followed this down my garage and through you can see right here I have my wastewater that way at least it's water in my garden all right and, and one thing to consider when you're looking for a container um, you want to use something that's safe and that's not going to bleach into the water uh, any contaminants uh, when I got it I cleaned it out with uh, uh, vinegar make sure there wasn't any uh, that way it's thoroughly cleaned out with vinegar, vinegar is safe for your aquarium, and then um, I used I used a brute river made container. Uh, one thing I did is, I didn't. The, this was only $26 um, for a 36 gallon, 30 to 36, somewhere like that, um, container. And then the wheels for it were actually more expensive than the container, so they were like $32, and the bucket was 26 so I didn't buy them. I have these little mover dollies at the house. I've never, I've used them once when we moved to our house and haven't used them again. So I figured I'd screw on some, uh, some wood boards and this just rolls perfectly and it even uh, makes it easier when I take it into the house because I have a, um, a step. So I have a step right here. So when I take it over there, I just lift this up, put two wheels on, and then the other two wheels, and that's it. Um, but there's my RRDI system, guys. Um, thanks.